All right, guys. Uh, my name is Kelly, and uh, I'm just gonna show you guys something that I um, put online as a product that I'm currently using called uh, Sushi DMX, and using an, a free program that's online for uh, Android, iPad, tablets, and so on. Um, I'm using it on an Android device, and I'll tell you why here in a second. But uh, give you a demo, and I just threw some lights together on this truss. I have a school dance this weekend, and uh, and those uh, DJ scans are actually like 12 years old and I have moving heads, but moving heads are in storage and I'm not gonna go through a blizzard today to go and try to get them. So we'll just use these as a, like show you a little bit of emotions, what it can do. Um, so I'm gonna show you this. So first things first is the Light Rider program. So the Light Rider program, like I was talking about, works for Android and iPad. It's free, and what it does is it connects via, what the Android connects with a USB cable to that device right there, which is 40 bucks. And then you connect either uh, a wired uh, XLR cable to run into your uh, DMX system, or you can do uh, wireless. Um, I'm not doing wireless. I, I'm okay with having a 20 foot cable at this moment, so we're just worrying about this. So this thing's 40 bucks. Tablet is 50 bucks at uh, Best Buy, which is barely nothing. And I have three of these. Um, why didn't I not go with iPad? Well, one is the cost. This is 50 bucks. I'd rather pay 50 bucks times three instead of 400 times three. And if me or one of my other guys drops this on the floor and cracks it, I'm not that. I'm not going to be upset. And then the other thing is that I also use another tablet on my uh, on the DJ setups where they control uh, a Soundcraft uh, digital mixer. So side by side, it looks really cool. It's small profile. I'm not running big analog controllers anymore. And um, uh, this does a lot of the cool things that really a DJ needs. So kind of going through the interface a little bit, kind of show you how this is set up. So. Uh, on the top here, hopefully you can see it, there's a button for the settings. And you can see right here it says Interface Sushi 1A, which is the DMX device up here. It's talking to that. And it's going through an, an adapter cable to do that, by the way. And uh, you can see it says ArtNet device. That would be for iPads. iPads can't do the DMX device outright, so you need to have an ArtNet device on a wireless network. I think these are about three, 400 bucks. Um, it, again, to me, it's cost is, I don't, I don't really need an RNet device. I just want something that's simple, easy to plug in and go. So this works well for me. Others would probably say, yeah, I need all the other bells and whistles. How this works is that there's a fixtures button and it shows you everything that's hooked up to it. As far as, um, you can set all the DMX channels. You can come down here to where it says brand and you can say, I want to have a new light I want to hook up on here. So let's say I have a... There's hundreds, maybe thousands in here. American DJ, and then you can find like, well, I need a new light, so let's see, I have the, uh, this one, Accu LED moving head. And down here, it'll tell you what it's for, uh, which mode it's for, everything. I mean, it's, it's very, I think, self-explanatory, and then you can have a fixture. You can change the settings of the DMX channels, you can group them in different ways. Uh, you can see right here I have DJ scans, I have color strips, four bars, color strips, and more. So go into that. Up here on the top are those, they're, they're cheap Chinese uh, lights, and the cable looks like hell, but don't rank me on that, I really don't care, I just, this is a quick thing. So the lights on the top are the quick $20, basically Chinese lights, and I'm using the same profile for the color strips on these because it's, it actually works pretty well. And then um, kind of show you the color strips and what I mean by that. These are the uh, color strips. Uh, Chave makes them. And um, basically I can use these, um, use the same profiles on all the, all the other two um, mobile DJ rigs. And you don't have to reset anything. You just plug and play. That's, that's a cool thing. And everything is hooked up through DMX cables. As you can see there. It's a mess though. And then one thing too I, I like to do is uh, on on the back of these things I put stickers and then I put the what's what it is and then the channel number. That way I don't you know get it up in the air and go crap the wrong channels on there I can just quickly look. So it tells me the channels right offhand and then I know I'm gonna go. And there's there's that. 
And then those, these are the old analog controllers. They were good for, you know, when you have park hands and, you know, static static effects or something. Something with no DMX. Those are where I'm getting way of because they're heavy, take up a room. Um, here's another DMX type of lighting. It's kind of like a, it's called Double Derby. It's kind of like a mini aggressor if you guys have those or not. Well, anyways, going back to this thing, see if we can kind of chat about this here. So the way this works, let's get this back up here without my face in it. We'll go back to live. Pretty self-explanatory. These right here on the left side are for motions of the, of the moving heads or mirrors, depending on what you have. Down below are presets. So basically you just set whatever you want it to be, you save it and you go. And there's, there's like five pages on here. I didn't do all of them, I just did like a few of them. And then up here is all the colors, meaning that uh, what, what do you want it to do? So if you do like rainbow, there's a rainbow. Kind of changes color slowly. Probably hard to see it on this one. Uh, you can do different colors like this. This one's kind of like a kind of a strobing effect. It looks like. Um, there's one that kind of like a strobe. And then this one basically moves it over to a left to right pattern. Kind of neat. Over here on the left side is the moving heads. So if I tell the moving heads to do things, now they're going to go through a motion themselves. And the cool thing is that I can change the colors anytime I want. So in this color grid, I can say I want this to be now blue. Now if we look up, there's white on that side. There's blue on that side. Uh, let's see. Let's do red, white. There's red, white. So we're just kind of scrolling around red, white a little bit there. And let's see, what else can we have fun with? There's blue only, so all the white should only be the blue color. And then I have a couple here that say stinger on, stinger off. So we hit stinger on. Now the guy in the middle there, he turns on and he starts doing some stuff. Uh, these right here are kind of neat. Uh, this snowflake thing means freeze the effect. So you just basically go static and you don't do anything else. This guy is the blinder, so I can click on him and he turns everything white. Um, this one is like, I need to do type of uh, quick en enhancement of the lights, so it kind of brings them all to white. Like builds energy kind of a thing, it's kind of neat. And uh, this one is to uh, basically shut off all the lights. If I can hit it right, there we go. All the lights are off now. And then this one would be if I had a smoke machine or a fog machine. The other thing is up on top says low, medium, fast. That's for if you just want to do it something automatic. So you hit hot. Now it'll change all the all the description or not descriptions, all the uh, rotations of the of the colors. It changes what moves, but you can you can change that by yourself anyway. So if you wanted to have them go in a different direction, you sure can. So any of this stuff it does automatically, you can override. Right now it's just doing its own thing. Medium is kind of like. Um, softer color so right now it's like green and blue a little slower speed and if we do slow now we're just really slow effects and then if we want to off it make sure can tell it to go off it's hard to do this with one hand in the camera and the other one on the looking through this thing it's kind of weird all right in my spare bedroom so it's kind of cramped in here um but that's basically it you can tell it to do anything you like you can uh, tell it what size um i think those uh four bars look really cool on this you can change change the gobo so if i want to do rotation and now that thing should be rotating through its gobo it is but it's, it's going pretty quick here and uh, different light effects. So there's a carousel, so you can see it kind of scrubbing through those. You can do a speeding car. It's going left to right motion. A strobe, that's one I created. Make it go all crazy. 
Uh, purple and green, just use purple and green colors. Those fan noises are coming from those DJ, whatever, X, 250AXs. And uh, that's really it. It's, it's really intuitive. I can do whatever I want. I can put everything in a static motion if I want to. I can stop things. I can do whatever is necessary, basically. So I think this is a really cool program for a DJ that really doesn't have uh, time to sit there and uh, program from light show to light show or from you know place to place. This is all ready to go. Just hit a button and, and run with it. It'll listen to the audio. There's a microphone right up here. It'll see if you have any microphone uh, problems with it. You can change that to a tap. So you can sit there and tap your BPM to it. It'll follow that, um, which is, I think it's on it right now. Yeah, that's pretty fast. And then if I slow it down, you can tell it's slowing down as I do this. There you go, 51 BPM. There you go. So anyways, that I, I think it's a really cool program. A couple things I would love to change on it, but it's free. Um, I'm hoping that more and more people, more DJs use this, and then if that happens, uh, hopefully they um, do some more software development on it and make it even better for DJs like us. So uh, hopefully you guys like this and uh, helped you out and maybe spark your interest in getting something like this. Have a good weekend. Bye.